Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we have a question that comes up all the time and we've done several videos on it in the past, but I'm happy to do a new one. Somebody had loaded a template from the Divi library and wanted to have it scroll to the various sections for a one page site. So I've done that here. We've got a, we're styling at the top. We can go down to an about us section, a market section, news section, testimonials, and down to the contact us, and back to the top with the home button if we need to. Really easy to do. All we've got to do is create a menu and assign some CSS IDs to the sections that we want to land on. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to add a new page and show you exactly how to do this. I'm going to go up to new and page, give it a title. I'll call it one page for a one page scrolling site. These are great for landing pages and things. I'm going to use a pre-made layout, which is what they did before. Obviously you can build this from scratch if you want to. And let's go. I'll get the same one as I had before. There it is, crypto. And if you go onto one of these layouts and just click on it, it'll take you to it. Now there's usually several pages, and I've showed you how to build multi-page websites this before. But there's usually a landing page as well, which is a long scrolling page that shows you most of the site. And it'll give you a demo of it over here. If you want to watch a live demo, just click that button. That's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to go ahead and say use this layout. And there it is. It's popped it in there for us. Great. Fantastic. Now what we need to do is just decide what sections we want to go to. Well, I'm going to start off with this top section. I'm going to call it home. We can use a scroll back to the top button. But if you want to have a, a home link at the top, we're going to go into this section. It's full width section. That's why that's purple instead of blue up there. Hit the little cog. I'm going to go over to advanced CSS IDs and classes. I'm going to give this an ID of home. What I tend to do with these when I've got several of them is just copy the CSS IDs into a little notepad. Comes in handy for making the menu later on. So we're calling this one home. You can call it what you want. It wants to be unique though. Now let's roll down a bit, see where else we want to go. Perhaps we'll have this one as the about us section. Blue tab for the section. I'm going to go up there and you can link to rows. You can actually link to modules if you want to. I'm going to use the section for this today. And I'm just simply going to go to advanced again. We'll call this one about. Remember to put it in the CSS ID and not the class. So we're going about. Now let's go down to perhaps how blockchain works. Let's call this one how. And of course, this is entirely up to you which sections you want to link to. I'm going to call that one how. You call that one why. Let's skip this one and let's go to market analysis values latest latest news let's link this section advanced css ids and classes id we'll call this one latest and perhaps have a few testimonials from the customers here again i'm going to link to the blue tab the section here And we'll call this one testimonials. And obviously just link to whatever you want to and call your links whatever you want because we can change what it says up here as long as we know what we're linking to down here. And we've got a contact us, but I don't think I want to link to the section of the contact us because it's leaving it too far down. We've got a row right here. If I roll this up, that's going to be about there. That will work. So I'm going to link to the row in this case. So green tab for a row. I'm going to go into there. Always in the same place. You'll see CSS IDs and classes always under the advanced tab. And we'll call this contact. Great. Well, we've done that now. What we need to do 
we save it and we'll actually create a menu for it so to do that let's go up to our menus anybody doesn't know how to get there go down to your dashboard down to appearance and then go down to menus that'll take you to this page here we want to create a new menu so I'm going to click on create a new menu I'm just going to call this 1p for one page call yours what you will when you're happy hit the create menu button on the right hand side now we're going to use custom links to build this today so I'm going to go over to the left hand side I'm going to go down past posts to custom links just down below I'm going to click on it and we can start making the links menu links that we want now like I mentioned before I copied my CSS IDs that I've used over here so I can just paste them in when I need to okay the first one was the top section we called home now all CSS IDs this is really important I have to have a hashtag in front of them so it's hashtag and then whatever name you gave it which was home for us and then what you want it to say in the actual menu itself that people see up there home when you're happy add it to the menu now our next little section was called about according to my little notepad here and I called it CSS ID of about so it's hashtag about and then what you want to say when you're happy again add it to the menu our next section was called actually how uh, I'm not comp I think that was how it works so it's hashtag how and let's see how it works it's kind of I could leave it as how up the top there but uh, that may be a little too long for our menu but you can always adjust it later and then we had a market hashtag market I might skip that one actually I don't want too many out there they say like six or seven is usually the optimal amount of things to have on your menu and we had latest news next that was hashtag all latest and I'm just gonna call that news and we had our testimonials and again that's hashtag testimonials and what's to say testimonials too let's just capitalize that T And last but not least, we had a contact, which I just called contact, hashtag contact. Link text, contact us, perhaps. And yeah, let's change that to a little O right there. Okay, let's add that to the menu. We should be good to go. So we've got all our items here. I might decide to hide a few of them. I need to go down and save the menu on the right hand side. Now we've called this one page or one P. We need to remember the name of this menu. Then we can go back to our page here. Make sure that you're saved and refresh the page. Now there's two ways of assigning this menu. I'm using a custom header here or global header. So you can actually edit it on the front end by clicking on it. And I've got a menu module doing this right here. I can go in there right under the content of my menu settings it's going to ask me which menu I want and 1p wasn't it you can pop it in that way or actually where we made the menu you can actually go down and assign it just below if you want to assign it to your primary secondary or footer make sure you save if you do that and the other place to do it if you're using a regular Divi menu is go down to appearance customize that will take us to this page here if we roll down you've got menus down here and you can assign your menus here also I've done mine actually on the page so we should be good to go so we've got home about this how it works market news testimonials contact us Let's make sure everything's saved here save draft or publish if you're ready exit the visual builder there's our new menu let's try it about us 
takes us to that little section we decided was the about section how it works takes us down to the how blockchain works market not working I don't think I've got one in there we'll check that in a moment news take us down to the news testimonials there's our little testimonials and contact us takes us straight down and this one we actually linked to the section and our home we gave our top section CSS ID of home let's see about the market though I think I missed putting a CSS ID in there let's just enable the visual builder one more time and if we roll on down now we had that Y invest market analysis I think it was it here so if we go into this section I think I forgot to give this an actual ID over to advance CSS ID yeah and it was called market we'll save that once again we can save everything down here actually what I'm going to do I'm not going to save a draft I'm actually going to publish this page and I'll show you how to set it as the front page of your site okay we save that we can exit the visual builder and now let's try the market great takes us straight there news should be a little bit further down how it works should be a little bit further up and back to the home so there you go guys there's how to set a menu to scroll to your sections with a one page scrolling site now of course once you've loaded a template like this if you're using it for a one page site you want to make sure it's on the home page we can do that by going back to the customizer where I showed you before we'll go back right at the bottom just above additional CSS you're going to find home page settings we can go in there where it says home page right here we can search for the new page that we made if you don't see it in there what you're going to need to do reload this customizer page so I'm going to just refresh quickly and we'll go back down to the home page settings and it should be there now I refresh the page home page Make sure you've got a static page highlighted there with the little radio button and it's called one page and we've got two of them there let's see which one it is once you click on it it'll load that's the wrong one obviously let's try the other one there we go there's our little blockchain page make sure you publish it and if we go back there now if I click on the logo for the home page should take us to this same page and there we go guys there's how to create simple one page scrolling menu for your Divi site I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a video demo for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.